Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Backstage. My name's Fred Cooper, and I'm here with one lovely lady, one of my favorite singers, Miss Barbara McNair. Barbara, thank you very much Hello, for Fred. being here. Hello. It's been Hello. a couple of years. It's been yes, a couple of years. I missed last year because I was out cruising for the whole summer. I was, uh, and hated it. I was, and hated it. I, loved <laughs> it. I was on the SS Norway you know, oh, for that's... most of the summer, so mm -hmm. I, I missed my chance to come here, and I always love to come to Leisure World. It's one of my favorite places to play. You know, uh, let's go back into your history a little bit. Okay. Is, is McNair your real name? Absolutely. Uh, when I first started in the business, I thought that I had to change my name. You know, mm -hmm. they always say, well, you can't use your real name. You have, you have to have a good show business name. So I was at the time going with a guy named Earl Wright. So I figured, well, I'll change my name to Bobby Wright, and then when we get married, he won't have to be Mr. McNair. Then people started <laughs> saying to me, is that your real name, Bobby Wright? I said, no, my name is Barbara McNair. They said, that's a much better name. Why don't you go back to your own name? So that's what I did. <laughs> how long How long you been in the business? Oh, you don't even want to know. I've been, oh, Lord, 30 years. 30 years? 30 years, 30 years. yes. Well, and you started in Chicago? Um, my actual first job was in New York. I was born in Chicago. Mm -hmm. But I was raised in Wisconsin, and then I went to New York to get into show business, and I had my first job at the Village Vanguard in New York City. But what did you do between? I went to college. I came out here to uh, California. Mm -hmm. I went to UCLA mm -hmm. for a year because we had been told in our hometown that whatever it is we plan to do with our lives, we had to go to college to learn how to do it. Mm -hmm. So I figured, I, wa I knew I wanted to be in show business, and I didn't know how to go about it. So I thought, well, if I have to go to college, probably the best place to go would be to go to UCLA out in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. But after my first year in college, I realized it had nothing at all to do with what I wanted to do, so I went to New York. And I auditioned, and I auditioned until I finally got a job at the Village Vanguard. That was my first job. But you were a secretary before then. Oh, well, that's how well, I during the time. Well, that's how I supported right? myself while I was trying to get into the business. Mm -hmm. uh, in order to be able to eat, mm -hmm. I, I uh, took a secretarial job. And I, I really liked being a secretary. I liked it a lot. But, you know, when I first went to New York, I stayed at the YWCA because I, I didn't know where else to stay. And another girl from our town had gone to New York and stayed at the YWCA. And when you go there, they ask you why you are in New York. You have to have a, an interview. So I told the lady I, I came here to get into show business. Of course, she laughed at me. You know, She said, oh, oh dear, we have 2,000 girls a day coming to New York to get into show business. <laughs> now, what can you do of a practical nature? I said, well, I know how to type and take shorthand. Fine. We'll get you a job. So they sent me out on a job interview. I got my first interview, my first job. But I told them, I said, well, I don't plan to stay here very long. You know, I came here to get into show business. And they laughed at me. <laughs> <laughs> they thought they had a lifetime employee, you know. So, <laughs> so when I, I, every lunch hour, I would go audition after work. I'd go audition at clubs. And one day I auditioned for Max Gordon, who owned the Village Vanguard and the Blue Angel. And he didn't say very much, but a few days later I was uh, relieving the lady on the switchboard and a call came in from Max Gordon for me. Now, I didn't want him to know that was me on the switchboard, so I said, oh, just a minute, I I'll see if I can find her. <laughs> so I unplugged for you know, a few seconds and I came back and I said, yes. He said, you know, young lady, I've been thinking about you. He said, I see a spark in you and I want to give you a chance. So he gave me my first job. And he, Max Gordon, has put up so many people in show business. You know, mm -hmm. that he's famous for being able to spot raw talent. Mm -hmm. And he worked with me and taught me, you know, about clothes. I was still wearing my prom dresses. Well, I just come out of high school. <laughs> so he told me to get just get a couple of nice dresses. You don't have to change for every show a different dress with the crinolines. I was mm -hmm. wearing the crinolines and everything. So I and he taught me, you know, about what kind of songs to sing. And, and for me, it was a learning process. I think the only way in this business is you have to feel your way. There is no school mm -hmm. to teach you how to be in show business. Mm -hmm. You learn it as you go. Mm -hmm. So here I am. On the job 30 training. 30 years later at Leisure World. Yeah. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> On the job training. But, but yeah. you've, you've, had, you've had some very good uh, jobs in television. 
Well, I had and the movies. Show, yeah. yeah, yeah, you I had did. I show for two years in uh, <clears throat> 69 and 70. Yes, I've done several movies. I did one with Elvis Presley called Change of Habit. Oh, man, they're showing them all this week, aren't oh, they? Oh, yeah, I wonder if mine will rerun. I get about <laughs> another nickel residual. <laughs> <laughs> I oh, did two wait, what was the name of it again? Change of Habit, where Change I played a nun. Really? Mm-hmm. And, uh... Are you the nun type? <laughs> no, as a matter of fact, in one scene, I didn't realize this until I got back to my dressing room. I had left half the habit off. It was still hanging <laughs> in the dressing room when I got back. But nobody noticed. I mean, you wore so many things. To be a nun, you had to put on so many things. Mm -hmm. And I've done two pictures with Sidney Poitier. I did one called The Organization. I did one called They Call Me Mr. Tibbs. Uh, let's see, what other pictures? I've done about seven pictures. Yeah. That was great. Mr. Yeah. Tibbs was a great Yeah, yeah, that was that, wonderful work. That, com <clears throat> that comes back every once in a while. Oh, yes, it, yeah. they, they play it, they play it. Now, you were, you were also voted the first black lady, most beautiful, ten, top ten. Top ten. In the top the ten. Cosmetology Society. Isn't yes. that something? Yes, yes, I was very honored, very, very honored. I bet yes. you were. Yeah. That, but you're a pretty lady. Well, thank you. You great. are. Thank you. Um, and you've always you've always been somewhere around where beauty was. Well, that's that's part of show business. Isn't I know. It? Well, yeah. I don't know. Some of them let them let themselves go. Oh. oh. But you, you have. Well, I, I work at it. I, I I'm not doing so hot, but I'm doing the best yeah. I can. <laughs> <laughs> doing the best I can. What uh, you got? Anything coming up? Ah, uh, let's see. Uh, I'm, oh, I'm going to play at the, the Cerritos Performing Arts Center on September 14th and 15th. Wow. That's, yeah, that'll, that's about the only local thing. And at Citrus College on the 13th. Mm -hmm. Other than that, I'm going down to Miami, you know, and work the condos down in Miami. And, of course, back out on the cruise ships. Do you, do, when you go to the condos, do you meet uh, Bobby Breen? Oh sure, I know is Bobby. He, yeah, is he I work for him. Yes, he's an agent down he's there. He's an agent. Yes, the famous Bobby the Breen famous and Bobby I. Bobby Breen from the movies, the child the, singing star. And yes. the mess he got into. Did he get in a mess? What mess? Oh, remember his aunt wanted him and his his mm -hmm. mother. Oh, it was it was I a don't it was a custody battle. Oh, a custody battle. Yeah. No, All I of a sudden, know. everybody wanted him when he made money. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> There you go. But I was I was amazed to talk to him one day, and he, he his wife was out here, but he didn't make it out. So I've never oh, met the gentleman except oh, on the telephone. Oh, but I'd yes, like to see him. Yes. You going back on the cruise ships again? Yes, sure. I, I you, love I love the cruise ships. Do you? Yes. That's oh, work yes. though. You know? No, you, no, no. You don't. You, you like know, that? You know how much work I do? How much? I do two forty-five minute shows a week. That's all I work. All the rest I could. You, do, you don't have to learn all of the other little tidbits? Oh, no. I just do my own act. I do 45 oh. minutes one day and 45 minutes the next day, and I'm finished for the week. That's good. And I just cruise And around. you play. Yeah, then I play. And they, <laughs> I don't have to cook. I don't have to make I, up my bed. There's somebody to do all that stuff for you. Who wouldn't like cruising? <laughs> That's true. That's Jeez, true. It's a wonderful thing to do. Well... We got a show to do, and I know we didn't have a lot of time tonight. I wish we had a little bit more, but we're going to have to get going here. So good. Well, I, thank you. For I really appreciate you being here, it's a and uh, it's a we'll have you back again sometime. Good. I look forward to it. And you have a good whatever. Thank you. Okay. All right. Bye. Ladies and gentlemen, we've been talking to Barbara McNair, famous in Hollywood in uh, the in. Uh, Movies, television, cruising, <laughs> <laughs> and at Leisure World. And I really appreciate her being here, and I thank you very much. Good night, everyone. <laughs>